You're freaking me out. You get out of here. But <laughs> this is freak. All right, hey, how's it going? This is a requested video. I did a review on this this Monoprice amp, Stage Right 15, probably a couple months ago. And I asked in the comments, I said, hey, do you want to see that amp compared with the Vox AC15? Because I really think these two amps, maybe it's not an, like exactly the same type of amp, but it's probably the most similar in terms of uh, like the tubes and uh, the features, I guess. We'll just talk quickly about them and then it's, it's obviously not a fair, like this isn't a shootout video or anything. It's just, you know, show you a $300 amp or whatever it costs but uh, against like a $1,000 amp. So, you know, maybe people are uh, wondering why would I spend extra on a Vox AC15 like that versus that one. So maybe uh, you're at home and you don't need anything like a Vox. It's definitely different. So let's just talk about what, what they are and we'll just go over the features all from memory, this is just like, this is improv night. <laughs> I'm just making this up on the spot. Um, so what I've got here, first of all, I'll talk about my, what I've got set up. This is a, a made in Mexico Telecaster. It's got a lace sensor, dually red in the bridge, uh, blue, lace sensor blue in the neck. And I'm plugged into uh, a wireless pack here. It's a sure, it's a sure thing. The GLX D1 Plus, and that's going into uh, well, it's wireless into the pedal. The pedal is going into a uh, Big Shot ABY by, uh, by Radial. A lot of words and things to remember. And then it's being split into the amps. So what I thought I could try to do is, uh, well, I got them on, um, right? And I'll just dial in some settings of each one and see what kind of sounds you can get and how they compare. Now, first I'll mention the AC15. I've got this other camera here, but it's really hard to capture the stupid thing with these amps. I hate I hate uh, knobs on top. That's my least favorite kind of knobs or uh, controls, right? And then this one has the front controls, the stage right, but it's got the reflective like chrome plate, so you can't even see it anyway. So it's ridiculous. It's like I couldn't figure out a nice way to set this up with one camera. I don't have multiple cameras. I got just two, and I couldn't figure out a nice way to to have it. So if you want to see more about what I'm dialing in, like the features, you'll have to go look at the full review videos. I'll link them below. One for the, uh, the Monoprice amp and then one for the AC15 because I just can't, I can't, I can't even. So I'll try my best. All right, let's, um, what can we, what can we do? Talk about, I said, I just talked about the answer for a second, both 15 Watts, both have, I believe they have five tubes. This is all off memory. Uh, I'm horrible with specs for amps because it's just not something I work in that often. I'll put them up on screen. Right, you can go right here. You can be like, you can be the mono price specs and you can be the Vox specs. And uh, I think they're the same tubes, like configuration wise. DAC15, if you were gonna buy one, this would be the, the C1X because it has an Alnico Blue 12 inch speaker. And this one has a Celestian something 12 inch so they're both 12 inch speakers the ac15 bigger it's a bigger cab it weighs a ton too it, it's so much heavier than this little mono price uh, they both have reverb tanks no digital reverb the ac15 has tremolo we're not going to use that because i just want to compare similarities they both have a master volume and uh so that's huge because you can dial in uh, like gain. Uh, what's that button for? Oh, something I can't really compare on this one. The Monoprice has something I can't really compare together. This, this Monoprice has uh, an attenuator. I think that's the right term. You can go from 15 down to one watt. Maybe attenuator is not the right term, but you can kill the, uh, the power, lower the power. AC15 is two channel. It's got the normal channel. And it's got the top boost channel. The top boost channel lets you access the EQ. Yeah, let's just, they're powered on. Let me just turn them on and uh, get a sound check and then go through it and try some clean tones. See how the reverb tanks compare? Because one, I know the one in the AC-15 is a lot bigger. But anyways, let's go. And, uh... Oh, just for uh, miking. I'm just miking the room. I thought I'd mention one last housekeeping thing. 
miking the room. I don't have two identical identical microphones to uh, you know to set up for both both amps, so I'm using this Tascam Porta Capture X6, and uh, I've got it set to band mode. And the idea, what this is supposed to do, is if you're in a loud setting, it's going to hear the loud sounds and then adjust the gain. So at first it might peak, but then it'll drop it down and control it. So uh, very handy. So hopefully. Hopefully that captures well. If not, I'm also I've got an SM7B over here, and I've got a Sennheiser uh, shotgun mic up here. We'll see. We'll capture some sounds, anyways. I'm not going to not have sounds. It just won't be close mic. So, shut up, Landon. Okay. <laughs> That's the AC-15. I just have everything up at 12 o'clock, except for the volumes. I'm not, I'm not going to crank it too much. I will break it up, but uh, and you can see these mics were peaking. So hopefully that Tascam is doing a nice job. But uh, let's get this going here. Well, I can actually play them together at one point if I want. That radial Big Shot ABY, it's a splitter, like a switcher. You can do your A and B, or you can do AB, if you know your alphabets. <coughs> Let's just try some um, some clean stuff with reverb kicked up a little bit here. Reverb halfway here. Drive the mono price. Slipped, slipped off the edge and I died. Um, it's definitely boxier. I mean, that's it's gonna be. It's a smaller, smaller cab, right? So it's gonna be boxier. I'm just gonna try to dial in something that's equal, so I can switch back and forth. close um, I don't know you let me know what you think <laughs> in the room they both sound pretty good let's uh, I'm gonna crank the reverb just a little bit a little bit I'm gonna crank the reverb to max I keep looking at this microphone like it's a camera hey how's it going okay so um, when would you ever you know crank the reverb like this never no AC-15.
what's the other one called? Stage right. <laughs> Now I'm going to uh, yeah what what these these amps do share in common is they have the master volume and the channel volume so you can crank you can crank it and have the uh, master volume down and get some really nice gritty dirty nasty stuff so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna go into the bridge pickup here and uh, you just uh, go grab go grab a bag of uh, potatoes or whatever you eat normally when you watch these things and I'm just gonna set it up here don't go anywhere. I'm serious, stay here. Okay. Okay, so the idea, what I would have done is, um, I don't know what I've done. No, I've cranked the gain. The master volume is down on both. So I've got the master volume way back and the gain volume way up. This one actually is labeled gain. This one's just labeled channel volume. So you've got channel volumes, but that one doesn't have two channels. So that's why. I feel like I'm forgetting something important. Oh my God, I left the cookies in the oven. No, nope, that's not it. Okay, let's uh, go back and forth. So this is the Vox. And again, this is not saying one is better than the other. They're both better than each other. I gotta dial in something a little bit nicer. No reverb, by the way. Turn off the reverb. Let's try uh, the other one. Cool, there you go. That's all I want to do. I didn't want to take too long. Um, let me just turn them off here. Uh, so in the room, like, I'm hearing things bouncing off walls. I'm listening with my ankles. I always say don't do that. I say that, tilt the amp up, listen with your ears. So they're not in an ideal position for me to hear them. But I've got this Tascam thing. I can see these mics totally peaked out, maxed out. So they're probably not a good representation. So hopefully I captured something good. And uh, you can take that information and use it to decide, hey, I, wa I want to just get this little cheap uh, mono price amp because it's all I need. Or it's like, hey, that thing sounds like garbage compared to that one because that's the Vox. And uh, I'm looking at this thing like it's a microphone. I'm not used to, this is a new mic, so I I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting better all the time. All right. Um, yeah, so hopefully this was something interesting. This was requested. If you have any other ideas for other videos, 
don't bother asking. I don't do requests. So except for this one, one time, this is a one time thing only. You're freaking me out. You get out of here, but <laughs> this is freak, freaking me out. Uh, there are full videos on both these amps. I actually showed how I changed the green speaker to the blue speaker, uh, Celestian green back into the El Nico blue. I mean, I didn't change it. I just pulled one out and put it in. You know what I'm trying to say? And then I've done a full review, a full demo review, if you want to call it that, uh, of the, the model price amp. So probably still the cheapest priced amp, tube amp that you can get these days for, for what you get, like all the features and the size and uh, the value, I guess. Okay, that's going to be it. So yeah, check the links. Take a look at uh, the description if you want to get any of this stuff. Uh, also, don't forget to check out, I've got Tim Pierce's Masterclass. I've got a discount promo code. You can check that out. I've been using it. I love it. Uh, it's great if, you, if you're thinking of, you know, taking guitar lessons, but you don't know what to do, check it out. Two-week free trial. I'll have all that information in the description. All right, as always, play guitar and have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Ah, oh, I forgot to hit record. I always forget. <laughs>